Right, so I'm sitting out here in the middle of um, kind of nowhere and I'm thinking how useful Adobe Photoshop Beta Generative Fill is for drone pilots. So if you have DJI Mini 2 or DJI Mini 3 Pro, if you have a DJI Mavic 3, whatever you've got, and you're taking photos with it, much like I do, then how impressive the Generative Fill Beta is on Photoshop is just mind-blowing and how useful it is for drone pilots out there who are taking photos. It's um, it's insane. I'm using the Sony ZV-1 by the way and the 16mm lens by Viltrox and I have the microphone on forward so um, hopefully that all works. So right here, I'm recording the screen by the way, we have Photoshop Beta. It is the version 24.6. I have literally updated it now. If we press open, it opens really quick by the way. And we're going to start with, let's just chuck in the first image. I do have eight of them, so we're going to go through them quickly because I don't want to get this too boring. Um, that looks fine. Let's just leave it how it is. Say you're a YouTuber content creator and you got this image and you want to use it as a 16 by 9 but you want to kind of keep what's in the image so you don't want to crop it down. You want to make it a little bit larger and say, I mean, something like this, yeah. I want to use this, I want to put a font on top, I want to say, you know, um, DJI Mini 3 in the Dolomites, Italy, which this is. We're going to select this side, and we're going to select this side, and we're going to press Generate to Fill. Now, you do need the internet for this to work, by the way. If we press it, you can type in a, a slight bit of text, you know, like um, fill the sides in with clouds or airplanes or, or aliens, whatever. I'm just going to press Generate. And you're going to see how quick and easy this is. When I saw this for the first time, my mind was blown. And I thought how useful this would be for content creators, for filmmakers, for YouTubers. Right. It has generated the size. And as you can see, you cannot tell the difference. I will enlarge that for you. Look at that. And it gives you always gives you three options. So you can go through them. Right here, you can see on the left-hand side, it has created a mountain. And it has perfectly, in my opinion, extended the misty area. I mean, look at that. Is that that's, that's all you need. At the top, right here, you can type in, I don't know, DJI Mini 3 Dolomites. And you haven't cropped your image in any way. You've extended it mind-blowing right let's open the next one this is Lanzarote it looks fine how it is and right I was there I was with my family and I did a you know portrait orientation image and once again I want to enlarge it to a 16 by 9 but I didn't take a 16 by 9 so we're gonna get the sides Sorry for the noises, because my daughter's playing. There is a cat behind me. There are sheep behind me. <laughs> and I'm quite far away from the internet, so it might not be super fast. It's scary. It is scary what it can do. And if you're an artist, this might not be for you, because you want full control of your image, and you're proud of what you're creating. But just look at what it did might not know this point in Lanzarote where I was flying but it looks very similar to what it just created now once again you do get free options and if you want I mean on the left here it didn't do it too nicely but, but that first image is mind-blowing if you want you can press generate again so you, you can continuously press generate until you're happy with the options and that's fantastic because you know it's, it's learning as it goes and this is still a beta which to me is just, you know, that it can do it. What it's doing it right now is just amazing. So th sure, that looks like it may be a bit of a volcano. We can enlarge it there. It's added a little bit of blue to the sea, which I don't like, but that right there looks like a volcano on the left, looks like the sea extended on the right. If we look at the before and after, what it's done. Are you not surprised? Because I am, that is the DJI Mini 3, by the way. 
let's open the next one, which is a shot. Um, it's a twilight shot, which are some of my favourite in um, Zakopane. Now, once again, I want it for a thumbnail. So we're going to take this part. We're going to take this part. I always get a little bit further into the image, so because if you do it on the very edge, it will create a line and that looks um, fugly. Um, someone's now sawing away some metal I can hear in the background. I don't know how, I mean, I'm about 60 centimeters away from from the ZVE one, so I do have it on front microphone only. Right, there you go. It, it's done it. So we have options. It's even created the sunset on the right here. I mean, that, that that's crazy. And, you know, it, it all looks pretty good. I'm not super happy with it because I remember what it looks like and I know that the trees on the left didn't look like that and I would like it to look a bit more authentic, but you have no idea what it looks like. So maybe to you that looks perfect. <coughs> Alright, let's see what it, There you go. That is exactly what it looked like. Um, and say... Tree. Let's see if it creates a green tree or a dark pine tree like it's basically surrounded by. Because you can add stuff, you can remove stuff. The old content aware fill has nothing on it. That tree is horrible and it looks nothing like the trees that were next to it. Um, pine tree. Let's have a look if it does a pine tree, because right now it's created a dead tree. I guess it thinks it's winter and all the trees are dead and it was trying to create a leafy tree that has no leaves. Fine. Um, there you go. And, and you know, I'm not happy with that either, but this is a beta. So we're going to remove that and just be happy with how it is. We can use it as 16 by 9. Let's carry on. This is Mammoth Lakes, and I need to yeah, drop the shadows, highlights a bit for it to look any good. And once again, you want this as a 16 by 9 but hey, let's just go all the way out and fill everything. So, one side, the other side, generate to fill, generate. I've tried this image a couple of times, actually about four or five times, and every single time it is a little bit different. That's Oscar crying because he was trying to come in the middle of the video, which is fine. He can come over. Um, I'm sure he'll be a pro at this by the time he's um, 18. Right, so that already looks incredible. As does that. As does that. They're all pretty good, but I think the first one is the most realistic. So right there, we've just created something. Now, if we go in, you can see that the trees aren't perfect. They're a little bit... I don't know where that thing is, but it's probably, it sounds like it's right next to me. We can go in and say we want to get rid of this. Okay, so all the cocks are crowing now. There we go. We want to get rid of those because, I, I don't know, they just... He is right next to me. We're going to get rid of the, um, the RV, a few cars, and what looks like a caravan right there because they kind of ruin the image there we go they are gone and now you have a beautiful 16 by 9 image that well i'm gonna use fucker i'm gonna use for the thumbnail of this video save looks awesome we're gonna use it Right, let's open a different one. Um, top down. Now, I have tried this a few times. This is actually Zurich. Yeah? So, say we just want it like this, and we are going to fill in the water. This is a top down, and I've got to tell you, it doesn't always do it that well. It's okay, I can I can handle I can handle I can handle him. Um I am fenced in here by the way, so there will be no Right, there we go. So I mean 
that looks pretty realistic. If you were to upload that on Instagram, you're a winner. You're a winner. And, you know, I don't have this problem in the studio. Okay, so, you know, that all looks great. Let's try another one. What do we have? Um, oh, here we go. So this is Switzerland. And I've taken a drone shot and I don't have the tip of the mountain. So we're going to try something different. We're going to enlarge it. And we are going to select the top and we're going to select the side and the bottom. And we're going to press fill. And you're going to see it do the bottom, the side, and the top. And hopefully the tip of that mountain beam, because it's annoying that it's not there. And I would like it there for the YouTube thumbnail. So let's see what it creates. This is all very interesting. It really is, because it's, um, it's surprising what it can do at this stage. Never mind what it's going to be able to do in a year. Right, it's created a funny mountain top. That looks a lot more realistic. That does not look realistic. Right, so say we have this one, and we are going to go in, and I always hate this damn building. This damn building has a ton of uh, no drone signs, and it just looks fugly. That is for Kapas, by the way. I am somewhere around flying my drone. I'm going to get rid of this building just by pressing generate to fill. The content aware fill would make it really, really bad. But by doing this, just look what happens. Boom. We now have a beautiful image that we can use. And nobody will know the difference, unless they've been there. And then now on the left-hand side, there is a huge glacier that is sadly melting faster than you can say melting glacier. Right, um, this right here is just outside of Vegas. And I want you to see what happens when we turn this into a 16 by 9 because I have tried it before yeah I've obviously tried all these images because playing with this I'm constantly in awe and I keep pressing generate because it is addictive being able to see what this could create and every time it's unique it creates something different like I said I mean being an artist you want more control over your work and you're proud of your work so using AI for your art. Could be an artistic choice, but <sighs> there we go. That looks pretty realistic to me. I mean, look, look at that. That's okay. It's got a little bit of an artifact there. That's okay. That's pretty cool. Say, say right here. Yeah. We're going to type in a Ford F-150 black. Generate. Say I want another Ford F-150. I was right, driving a Ram right there. Um, behind it, so it looks like we're driving two cars. Let's have a look at what it does. This is, um, yeah, it's really praying. Praying? It's praying. Well, it's really playing God. So we have one there. We have one parked the other way. And we have one there. It looks pretty realistic. And the thing is, is making sure that you, when you create something, you create it at you select the right size to so say right here we want to type in um, combine harvest harvester generate so it's going to generate a combine harvester on the field back there now perspectively this Ford F-150 will be bigger than RAM and it's a little bit closer so maybe that looks okay but we're putting in a combine harvester and let's see what it does that looks pretty damn real I like the red one at the beginning and that right there is the finished image and I think 99% of the people that didn't see this image before would think it's real. Wow. Last image for you guys. We are going to choose this. This is the Dolomites again. First of all, I want to get rid of this um, sculpture in the lake. Just remove it completely because it doesn't suit my image and I could do it manually but why when I can use Photoshop perfect and you know for shits and giggles let's um, turn this into a shot for 
Instagram. Why not? Because a lot of us are using these shots for Instagram. There we go. And let's fill it. That should be my thing, right? Let's fill it. Um, this may be a boring video for some of you, and um, but it might be an interesting video for, for, for some of you out there because it's, um, it's incredible what this can do. And right there, I think that's perfect. It's created the shoreline right here. It's extended the sky perfectly. I can't see where, but that's not good. That's actually, that's the best one. That's fantastic. Wow. This is incredible. Yeah. Look. Czy to wygląda prawdziwe? Nie. Nie? To jest prawdziwe. Zrobiłem coś takiego. To nie wygląda prawdziwe? She said it doesn't look real. Well, she says it looks real now. Thank you. Water blue. Um, that's it. Um, if you did like my video, make sure you give it a like. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. And remember, ring the bell. Beta. This is a beta. Whoa. Drone pilots out there, you can now create whatever the hell you want. Thanks to um, artificial intelligence, which is going faster than we can believe. My daughter, by the time she is 20, I'm sure this is going to be out of control. Completely out of control.